You can have it in all these wonderful colors. Such as... Oh, we have to do British Racing Green. It is the law. Yeah, I know I said I'm going to sleep, but I gotta do this. This will seriously be the final run. Oh man, look at how fast this accelerates. Uh, but look at how badly it turns. God. Yeah, this is this is very Corvette esque in its handling. It doesn't spin up the wheels quite as much. Although it still kinda does. I think it just goes to third gear earlier, which makes it more tolerable. And you really have to slow the thing down. Maybe it's because I'm just going physically faster. It feels like I have to brake more. The car feels sluggish. I'm drinking caffeine at midnight. Have fun with that. How fast can we get on this big straightaway? Twenty? Can we get one thirty? Yes, we can. One thirty-five. Oh. Oh, that was. It's a kind of a spin out there. Yeah, this is. This car definitely needs tires. But still, I think if we want the record, we will need at least one short track. Probably only one. But it will be needed. This car is like peanut butter on rice. Pretty much, it is as bad as the Corvette was, I would say. But I also think it's slightly faster, maybe. Feels like it might be. Might be slightly more controllable. It was close to hitting the wall, but not quite hitting the wall. There's a person in Stereotone chat called Monototem. I've seen him before. Oh man, nice split. Nine seconds ahead. Clear. I'm assuming Stereotone is streaming right now. Pray for the short track. Short track! It's a Christmas miracle. This could be the run, guys. Call your friends, call your family, tell them to Nistilians about to get a record.
Of course, now that I said that, it will probably not happen. I'll be like one second short or something. I'll get world record in just a few hours of playing this game. Well, I didn't get it yet. Let's not get too uh, too far ahead of ourselves. I guess just no one's really ran this game seriously. Like, people have ran it, but only because it's on the same disc as Jet Set Radio Future. They don't actually care about it. They haven't... They just picked a car at the start that they thought looked good. And did that. And also iMagic. Oh, that pen gif. I love that gif. I'm a professional speedrunner. It's true. I'll put that on my resume. Thanks for the advice. I like how driving through the sand is the fastest way of getting through, it, through that corner. Two stages, two golds. Feeling confident. Do this late eighties. It should be a short track. Okay, it's a slightly longer track, but that's all right. It's not much longer. Also, I might have gotten this track in my PB as well. I don't remember. off. Alright. Just a minor setback. A bit of a wobbly moment. We're fine. This track is like a, a deformed reverse Monza. It's also um, slower or faster. The Monza is. It's a much smaller track. The world record is still... still firmly on the table. <laughs> Did the exact same thing again. So for future reference, I should slow down for that corner. I think in the other car where I had this track, I did not have to slow down. But this one, I do. So that record is now slightly less firmly on the table. But I would still say it's pretty close to the center of the table.
Only lost a second. So I want I want the weight reduction next. I can remember these things. I'm a thing rememberer. Early 90s. Let's go. Tind will win. I need to do something with that website. We really miss Futurama. I was never really big into Futurama or any of those types of shows, like The Simpsons, Family Guy, etc. Bonk. Oops. I love that corner. I don't know if I've explicitly said this yet, but this is really a fun game. And if you have an original Xbox and like racing games, you should really pick it up, because it's really quite fun. I mean, maybe it's nostalgia speaking, but I, I feel like this game holds up kind of well. Let's go! 140! 149 miles an hour as we hit the wall. to acquire all 23 seasons of Top Gear. That's a pretty great show. I think a lot of it is on Amazon now. Yeah, this is world record pace. I don't know what track we're going to get here. Obviously. Okay, I think this is the faster one, actually. This is good. And also the one I got my PB. Excuse me, coming through. 
Oh man, this is deja vu to the SS license in this game because it is a Jaguar E-Type on this track. It's like exactly this, except the car is stock. It's not tuned like this one is. And you have to be a time of 1 minute 59 seconds and it's actually really hard to do. However, it'll be really easy to do in this car because of how tuned it is. Careful. Careful car. Uh-oh. See, see, I did that intentionally so I could build up more speed for this straightaway. Of course. It was planned like that all along. You know it would be really nice if I got the not quite long track for stage 6. But I doubt that will happen. And it probably it won't. It's alright if it doesn't happen. 157 is this car's top speed. Also, good god, it was that a loud screech. These tires have been murdered. Except not really, because this mode doesn't do tire simulation. I think the campaign mode does, though. <laughs> what is this track design? It's an interesting track. Certainly. But the track designs in this game were definitely better than they were in the first Sega GT, because in that game they were all basically just minor variations of the circle. <laughs> there was not much variety in those tracks. Alrighty. Let's go. 40 seconds. Last stage. Whoops. World record attempts indeed, and this could very well be the world record. The record is a 2352. Ah, uh, it's the long track. That's alright. We got that in our PB. So I just have to not lose 18 seconds. Compared to my PB. Yeah, I think I've haven't I think I've had to drive this long track every single run to be fair. That was my memory of Chronicle Mode, just this track all the time. That's alright, that was intentional. Oh god, I really have to be careful with these hairpins. Car really wants to get squirrely around him.
Second one's a stab at me. Wouldn't that be terrible if I ended up not getting a top three finish on this track? Let's not even think about that. Let's just drive. Also, since this will likely end up on YouTube if it does end up being a world record, I would like to apologize here for the bad audio quality. I am aware, and I'm working on fixing it in the future. Apparently it's been like this for the past full year of streams, and I never noticed until, like, yesterday, so, hey, at least it's progress. a bug, that's good. It's always nice when you fix bugs and things. Come on now, don't get too squirrely on me. You're a car, not a squirrel. Don't pretend to be one. work more on Taco Tom too, but I've already mentioned that. Both in this stream and in other streams recently. Oh. Bit of a moment there, but we're all right. Sorry, I can't really read your message kind of long and I've got to focus on not messing this up. Look at those last, look at that last split. You know, it compares to the previous split. It was dead even. 23-37 is apparently a world record. So that's cool. I did it. I'm now the best Sega GT player in the world. At least in this mode. There's another mode, which is like four times as long. Five times, actually. Maybe I'll speedrun that eventually, but I tend to stick to shorter runs. Did you know that the straight six stocks engine was the engine of choice, but to keep performance high despite increasingly stringent emission standards, Jaguar introduced the V12 engine. Now you do. Ah, uh, yep, that is the link. Link? <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. But yeah, this is world record. I am number one, just like my car says.